We're working in Jasper Active, Microsoft Word 2019. I'll be doing lesson one with the exercise opening a document. So if this is the first time you're doing it, click learn. If you're trying it again, click on practice. Now, I've tried this one before, but I missed one step, so we're going to try it again together. So in this activity, we're going to learn to open a variety of documents. In this exercise, we'll open a variety of documents, including a PDF document for editing, and then we'll import a text file into a PDF document. So step one says to open a document. Click File and then click Open. Click this PC and then navigate to my resource files folder. I'm actually going to click the browse button so that my file explorer opens. And then I'm going to find my Jasper Active folder and then into my resource files folder. Now here's all of the documents that I'm using for this activity. You'll also find them at the bottom of your instruction panel. So this will work for some of the steps, but not for all of them. We're going to click on the corporate profile document to open it. So I'm just double clicking it. There's my corporate profile document. Mark as answered and go to step two. So for step two, we're going to open a document using our keyboard shortcut, which is control O. So I'm going to press into Word to make sure it's active so my keyboard shortcut will work. Press and hold control, tap the letter O, and you'll see that right here it's going to show me a list of recently used documents. Um, I'm actually going to go browse. So I'm going to find the agenda document from my resource files. And when I hit browse, it actually takes me right back to that resource files folder because I was just there. So I'm going to open the agenda document. There's my agenda. You can see it looks very similar from one of our previous activities. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. That's it for step two. So I'm going to mark as answered and go to step three. So we're going to try and open a file in a different format than Word. So we're going to go to File and Open and then Browse. And again, we're in our Resource Files folder. And it wants us to open the sample prize list RTF. So if I look at sample prize list, if I hover over it, it's going to give me some information. So this is a rich text format type document. Double click it. It's going to open it just fine. It doesn't look that different from a regular Word document. It's compatible with this program. So this file was saved in the RTF or rich text format text format, a format that is recognized by Word as one that it can open automatically. Saving a file using the RTF format generally guarantees that the basic formatting applied to text remains with the file, regardless of which program was used to create it. That's all we need for this step, so we're going to mark that as answered and go to step four. So now we're going to open a PDF file and add some text. Text. So we're going to go to File, and open. I'm going to find that res I'm going to hit browse. There I'm still in my resource files folder, but this time I'm going to open a PDF document. So you can see right here it shows you the different types of files that there are and you can see the little icons are a little bit different. I'm going to open up this PDF. It has a little Adobe icon. When I try to open it, I'm going to get a pop-up that says Word will now convert your PDF to an editable Word document. This may take a while. The resulting Word document will be optimized to allow you to edit the text, so it might not look exactly like the original PDF, especially if the original file contains a lot of graphics. So I'm going to click OK, so it will convert that file for me. And there it is right there. I'm going to mark that step as answered and go to step five. So in this case, we're going to insert some text from another file. So in this, we're going to use our rich text format file. So we're going to move to the end 
of the document, so we're still in the marketing strategy document, I'm going to move to the end. And there's a couple of ways I can do that. I can just click down at the bottom, or I could use the keyboard shortcut, um, which is control and end to move to the bottom as well. And your end key might be in a different place. In my keyboard, it's up in the upper right-hand corner. When you have your cursor in the right spot, I need to move this over just a little bit because it's blocking my instructions. We're going to click on the Insert tab, and we're going to find the text group. So typically, our group names are down here at the bottom of our ribbon. But sometimes when we're using a condensed version, like you can see on my screen, the group names are up at the top, uh, a little bit towards the middle. So in this case, I can see my text group is right here. And if I click on it, it will open up all of my options. I'm going to look for the object icon and then select the drop down next to it because I want to insert text from file. And if you hover your mouse over these, it will tell you what they do. So in this case, inserting the text from a file into your publication. If you have a text box selected, the text is added to the selected text box. Otherwise, a new text box is created. In this case, it's actually just going to insert it into my document. So I'm going to click on insert text from file. It's going to open up my file explorer to find a file that has the text I want to insert. In this case, we're going to do the sample prize list. So I'm going to click on that one. I'm going to click the insert button. And you're going to see it just went ahead and inserted all the text from that sample prize list file right into this document for me. We're going to mark that as answered and go to step number six. So we're going to click Save on the Quick Access Toolbar. Again, that's up in the upper left-hand corner. And then we're going to navigate to My Projects. Now you can see right now it's showing that I'm in my Resource Files folder. So I can just click the up arrow and then go into My Projects. For My Projects, we want to make sure that the file name says Marketing Strategy and that the Save As Type field is Word Document. All right, and then I can press Enter. That's going to save it for me just like that. But I also want to save a PDF copy. So when we originally opened this document, it was a PDF. I can save it back to a PDF as well now that I've made changes. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to go to Save As. And I'm going to click on Browse. This should take me right back to my projects, which it did. I'm going to keep the title the same, Marketing Strategy. But I'm going to change the type of file to a PDF. And then I'm going to click Save. It might take just a minute for this to open. It will maybe open in an internet browser for you, or if you have a PDF reader like I do, it will open it there, and you can see your document. So we're going to close this file and all remaining files without saving. So I'm going to X out this. Um, I have multiple Word files open right here. You can see them all. If I hover over my Word icon, it shows me all four of those documents. And a quick way to close them all out, if I right-click on that Word icon, I have an option to close all windows. It may give me some pop-ups. I will click Yes. Good to go. I'm going to mark as answered and submit. And ta-da! Return to Jasper Active.